Hi there. Welcome to another Limp Jam. It's Limp Jam 11. And this is working with breathing, efficient breathing and movements. So, um, it's gonna be a 20 minute routine, but I just wanted to quickly say about what um, efficient breathing looks like, because you can apply it to any kind of technique you want, as long as you're focusing on breathing through the nose, the mouth is shut with the teeth shut, tongue on the roof of the mouth, and it's just relaxed, and it's as light as possible, so this makes, the, the, the nasal breathing makes us breathe down into the belly, into the, with the diaphragm, so it's, um, it can be slow and light, as long as it's light, so it means that, when, light means to not have air rushing, so this could be a slow paced breathing, like No, not too much air exchange, or it can actually be fast rate, like a mouse. I call it the mouse breath. So that's like... So the belly's just doop, 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 like an indicator. And again, it's not, it's not, it's not rushing. The air's not rushing, it's just, it's just to stop air exchange from happening too quickly. As we get moving, we're gonna to want to breathe faster because the brain's going to recognize that we need more air or that, that there's, there's a buildup of carbon dioxide and that's a learnt pattern that we can actually practice over time to get used to the carbon dioxide because it's actually useful to have carbon dioxide in our system uh, to, the, to the point of say for instance, being able to hold our breath uh, relaxed for a minute. Um, that's a really optimum amount of time breathing, uh, holding our breath for a minute without having to pr practice it um, or train up to that um, in, the, in the moment. Um, what I mean is that um, we, we want to, uh, you know, if the, the, the lower we, the, the shorter amount of time that we hold our breath for um, before we want to have the urge to breathe in rather than force it being held, then then um, uh, there's less carbon dioxide in the system than, than, than optimum. So when we get moving and we notice that we want to breathe a bit harder, just notice that and breathe a bit deeper and try to change it and then come back to being as light as possible. So we want to stay as light as possible, but also as, um, but not as, not, not starting to rush the air where possible. So let's just start. I'm going to start with the clock. So it's tw we've got 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Here we go. And we're going to work with the breath. And we're going to do some movements. And we're going to do some fast stuff and some slow stuff. Okay. So here we go. So first of all, let's just drop our knees a little bit and breathe in. And we're going to use up my hands to help control the breath. Nice and long and slow. Breathing out. Let the knees sink a bit. It's a full body motion. Breathing in. Be as relaxed with your muscles as possible. And out. Breathing in. And out. Might not. No might start to notice you're starting to relax more because it's a slower rate than we're used to breathing subconsciously we can breathe around with our hands coming up and down and this helps us to be quite mindful or well, very mindful if we're focusing on the movement as well. Okay, so we've done a, we've done a few um, slow ones. Let's do some try some faster ones now. So we're going to bounce a little bit, just let our shoulders go, so they 
our arms aren't ours, just let them go and we're just going to let them bob up and down, the shoulders just flap about a bit and we're going to start speeding up so we want to try and control our breath so it's Really let go of the muscles. Keep that rhythm going in the breath. And this is just helping to shake our, all of our tissues about, get our bones vibrating, get our joints moving, but relaxed muscles, getting flow, blood flow in and out, exchanging into the lymphatic system and we're breathing at the same time to help create a little bit more carbon dioxide in the system but not so much that we then want to breathe harder. If we do want to breathe harder at this moment just take one slower breath in and then back to small little mouse. The breath really helps us to stay mindful um, and stay in the exercise for longer because you know thoughts can come in and make and want us to you know do do something else we go, this is boring now <laughs> but yeah you can really feel things moving and concentrate on how that feels let's flick our wrists a bit keep the breath going tiny imagine it's water that you've got on your hands and you just loose, 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 flick the water, flick, flick, flick. <clears throat> when we're kicking a football, again, there's this, it's really like loose, 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 loose. So it's let, let the, um, let go of your feet so they flap about. And the same for the wrists again, so we're kicking and kicking, breathing slow. Okay, let's try this one now. So again, small mouse breaths. That's breathing in, out, in, out. If you need to take a longer, slow breath in, let your arms completely go so they're not yours. You're thinking about twisting from your, your torso. The knees pretty much stay straight. Let your hands just come and flap the belly and the back and the lower back. You can do small ones like this, flap. Back to the breath. Flick them up to the top. Tapping on the ribs really, really helps with our nervous system drainage to our thorax, which is the chest. We're going a little bit lower, we're tapping on the, on the liver, on the spleen. Really good for our metabolism, digestion processes, those, those organs. And we're sort of tapping on the kidneys at the back as well, around this area, just lightly. Go as, go as hard as you can, but as light as is comfortable for you. So it's just going small, even small, and uh, just let go of your arms. Let them just swing like they're just dead rope. You can start to just think about 
looking behind you a little bit, not pushing to the end range, but just a little bit of unwinding the neck. Whatever's comfortable for you. Back to the breath. Okay, we we'll do some silly ones now. So this is where we want to look at curling the, the spine and then bringing it back. So we've got a C-shaped spine and then an S-shaped spine. C-shape, S-shape. Hands on the hips if you want to, to feel the thumbs moving down and back just to get your, your pelvis moving. Once you've got the rhythm and the motion, relax, relax the muscles and turn it into more of a dance. So once we've got this motion going, we can start to come forwards with the head a bit and our hands come out and back. So we're getting our shoulder blades to slide forwards, backwards, forwards. Creating the C-shaped spine and S-shape. Now, now you've got it, just go relaxed again. These are, it's all free range of motion. It's not pushing anything, no clicking or crunching. Just go small if you need to, but relax, make it a dance, it's a dance. This really helps to drain your spine, getting, getting all the fluids exchanged from old to new. Clearing out the rubbish. Clearing out the old stress chemicals of the brain. Now is the dance there. Now we're going to go disco hips one. So disco hips, unlock and lock the knees, and slide the hands down the thighs to get the shoulders and the spine moving. Again, keep the breath nice and taut, tiny. Do long, long arms. Don't push into the end range, just go where it's comfortable. Keep the breath going. Relaxed. Just let the air fall in because this movement's making our lungs pump anyway, so we can just relax the breath, see what happens. Reach up a little bit. turning a little bit. Relax with it. Let's take off a moment. Bounce. Little breaths. This is really getting the calves going. So spring, spring off your toes. Little breaths, make them bigger if you need to. Might start to feel like you want to breathe harder. If you need to, just go slow. Notice the urge to breathe faster and harder. Just slow it down, let it fall out. That, that hunger or air is okay. It's not dangerous. Let it be there. It's not going to get worse if you start to concentrate on your breath again. How long we got? 
So let's do some reaching and stretching and breathing at the same time. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is step forward and reach with the other, stepping forwards with one leg, reaching forwards with the other, and at the same time, we're going to breathe in lightly and slowly until we can't breathe in anymore, but it's slow. Reach out backwards. Breathing out, swap round. So we're reaching and squeezing everything from the toe, the, the, the fingers away from each other. Squeeze out as we breathe into the end range of our breath. Keep your head on top of your pelvis. Try that on this side again. Ready? So it's more of a, a walking thing now. So. A little bit of a twist through the spine. Swap round. Don't breathe all the way out. Keep keep some lungs there. Keep some air in the lungs. Breathing in. And now we can do it more of a, a reach out this way. So reaching and reaching this way. Explore where it feels tight and just go into it a little bit. Breathing in. You can go down. Or you can go up. Reaching up. Make it fluid. Make a fluid, slow, full body. Exploring the stretch between the the arm and the foot there. Try holding the breath when you turn and then breathing in there. Hold. So it's a real stretch for the lungs on the inside as you're stretching on the outside, stretching all of the lower back and the spine. How does that feel? Let's walk on the spot a moment. <clears throat> Let's do a little bit of flying V bobbing. So. Bring the elbows over each other, alternate, swing down. Be mindful of the breath. Little, little, or little and small, or long and slow. Light, always light breath exchange. We'll go into the more of the rhythmic. Let the head just drop down, let the whole spine curl a bit. Even drop down a little bit if your lower back's all right. Okay, <clears throat> couple more things for a standing meditation. So let's just cross over like this, and we're going to curl that backwards. 
and then breathing out. Reaching back. Feel the whole stretch there again, breathing in. Let the arms go a bit. Let, feel that across the whole chest. Breathing in. And then again, curling, breathing in. Nice squeeze. Shake it off a bit if you want. Reaching out. Or up. And then forward. I'm not deliberately not breathing out too much. So it doesn't create a lot of air exchange. So it's just like letting go of the lungs and then breathing into the stretch again. But each time I go forwards, I'm just breathing into that stretch and letting go slightly and breathing in, letting go. Okay, a couple of super brain yoga squats. So these are great for getting everything going quickly. If you haven't done one before, just try doing it. Just try doing three light ones. So I'm gonna cross over here, hold on to the ear lobes, and this is just gonna help to pull out the connective tissues that run from the ear, nose, and throat. Help drain the sinuses, pulling out and down. And then we're going to breathe in as we drop into a squat. Just go as low as you can. See how far you can go. Down first. Bounce a little bit. And then coming up and breathing out slowly. Let the air fall out naturally. And then again. Nice big breath in to the end range. And then coming up and... It's great. Um, just 15 seconds left of our 20 minutes. So let's just stand in the standing meditation posture. Just drop the knees slightly. Keep, keep upright, floating. Roll the shoulders back round and down. Let the arms go. Tilt the chin a little bit. And feel what's happened in your body. I feel a great energy flow. Everything's been shooken up, shook up, flowing about. I feel it going from a lot in my arms, mainly, and all around here and down. I feel lighter. I'd love to know what you feel from this. Let me know what you get out of it. And um, any questions about eating, moving, breathing, thinking, feeling, expressing and connecting well, then chuck it in the chuck it in the comments. Or send me a personal message if you've got anything more personal you want to talk about. Um, all the best. Have a great day. Cheers.